Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. 1 Samuel chapter 18. Now yesterday was an incredibly serious topic. And never really saw David and sent, um, David and Samuel, David and Goliath personally in their life before. It was something that just came to my mind as I read. And I was like, you know, it was a good time to share this message. So on a much lighter note tonight... Um, a little bit, fr a little bit more user friendly, a little less controversial. Just gonna read uh, verses one through four. Now, when he, that's David, had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan, that was Saul's son, was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Saul took him that day and would not let him go home to his father's house any more. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan took off the robe that was on him and gave it to David, with his armor, even to his sword and his bow and his belt. So, absolute best friends. David would go on to later say, again, Google is your friend, that Jonathan's love was better than the love of a woman. So, they were just like incredibly tight-knit. They were the bestest of best friends. And... It's really, really cool when the Lord puts someone like that in your life. My encouragement tonight is find someone like that. Find another human being that you can just love, that you can just trust, that you can just confide hopes and dreams and worries, concerns, and even sins with. Find that really close someone where it's just meant like, man, I love this person. I can share anything with them. We can do pretty much anything together. We can argue and still be friends. We can fight and still be friends. I have some friends like that, not a ton, but I do have a few, and I'm so thankful for those guys. They are like the best friends that I could possibly ask for, and I'm so thankful that the Lord's put those guys in my life. They are amazing men of God. Love them to pieces. I know they love me too. So find that person. If you don't have someone like that, ask God to send someone like that your way to just keep taking you down your path of life for God to keep taking them down their path of life, and for God to bring you two together, I would throw in as soon as possible that you, you know, whatever maturity needs to come your way or their way, that it would happen so that you guys could go ahead and meet and start fellowship and hanging out and encouraging each other in the Lord. It's such a great thing to have that close a friend. Kind of like a friend that sticks closer than a brother. It's a quote Proverbs for you. So thank you guys very much for watching this. I love you. God bless.